Hello everybody, this is Hybrid, and I just want to say, today I'll be talking about the whole Trinity of Sin thing, and if you don't know what that is, it's something that DC Comics, part of the New 52, they introduced at least the Trinity of Sin part in the free comic book day, but it really, I guess you could say, technically was introduced when Pandora first appeared, in, which was actually in just about every single number one of the flashpoints or not flashpoints are of new 52s and so on so but she was a mysterious character obviously there's a few rumors that because her name was Pandora maybe she was Pandora from the mythology of Pandora's box and whatnot so yeah I guess just kind of talk about I guess the comic and kind of my ideas on what the Trinity of Sin is or is going to end up doing so if you read Free Comic Book Day comic, I'll post a few pictures of it here. But it's you have the Rock of Eternity. So you have there all this glory. If you don't know what that is, that's essentially where Shazam usually is regarding Captain Marvel, who now is, as far as I know, becoming just Shazam. That's his name. So yeah, um, you have the Rock of Eternity. And then you have a bunch of like gods and goddesses, I guess you could say that are you it makes sense that they'd be lightning slash thunder inspired gods and goddesses because they all seem to have somewhere on one of their outfits a kind of um one of the shazam lightning bolts so yeah you see a lot of them i'm not gonna name them all but i think i saw zeus there and i'm pretty sure i saw shazam there since it's the rock of eternity and you know i Jokingly, and I'm saying this kind of jokingly too because I doubt this was actually there, but I thought I saw Raiden for a second But that's probably just me searching for something that's not there. But anyways So you have that and Basically all these gods slash goddesses or I'm not even gonna say gods goddesses basically all these very powerful beings at the Rock of Eternity are I get as it seems they put it as they were the first users of magic and they took it upon themselves because they were the first users of magic to protect everybody else. So they got these three people together who I guess in their eyes committed the worst things possible. And yeah, so those three people are the question, or I guess I'll just say the pre-New 52 versions of them. One is the question, one is the Phantom Stranger, and then one is Pandora. So essentially Pandora, she's obviously, she is in trouble for opening Pandora's box and her sentence, because they kind of do a whole judge thing, and her sentence was an attorney of loneliness, pain, and I guess being told that she was evil. And in her words, because she opened the box. And if you read the comic, she does actually seem very sorry. But in their eyes, there is no forgiveness for something that bad. And then as well, you have the Phantom Stranger, who turns out to be what seems like Judas. And the reason I'm saying that, and if you don't know who Judas is, he betrayed Jesus. Ju sorry, Jesus in the um, New Testament, he betrayed him for the 30 pieces of silver, I believe. And that's seemingly what one of the kind of magician or powerful figures throws at him is the pieces of silver and what kind of gives away besides that that maybe this person is Judas is because he says please wizard all of you forgive me as he would and that's in all caps and it's a known fact that Jesus in the Judeo-Christian religion it's kind of the <clears throat> sorry the head religion for DC Comics so and then after that the wizard says you are beyond forgiveness your greed has forever darkened the world and it's a fact that or it's a known fact that in the new testament judas essentially gives away jesus's kind of whereabouts and through that jesus gets um put up to trial and eventually crucified so and i guess he died for everybody's sins stuff like that so yeah, uh, if you are reading this, it look it really does look like he be that 
the Phantom Stranger is actually Judas. And in a way, I have mixed feelings about this because, sure, I guess it's great they're introducing a religious figure again into comics, and it's always been kind of uncertain what Phantom Stranger's origin was, because there's been rumors that you know he was the first being to use magic, to being a fallen angel, to being a demon that wanted to repent, stuff like that. Except for on the other side, I really now there's no mystery to the Phantom Stranger anymore. And that's what made him a very unique character, was, at least for me, was the fact that I didn't know his origin, I didn't know where he came from, he was just kind of there, so that always made me really like the character, but I guess I'll probably like this um, version of him, only time will really tell, as they haven't really released anything with the Phantom Stranger to a point where I can really judge the character yet, except for he does seem like someone who follows the rules by how he and Pandora were talking in the in one of the previous Justice League issues. And the wizard says, you will walk the earth as a stranger to man, as a witness to what greed can do. So then, there again, you have the whole greed thing, interestingly enough. And I feel like the wizard here, and I, 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 I'm kind of half thinking this, because I don't think I'm not thinking all the way for it, but I think that might be um, Shazam. Except for, you know, maybe it's not, maybe it's Zeus, somebody like that. And the reason I'm saying that is because, well, first off, the person, the Phantom Stranger, calls him the wiz please wizard, and Shazam is commonly referred to as a wizard. And also, he seems to be running the whole thing. So, like, he's seemingly kind of in the middle directing everything and kind of giving out most of the punishments you could say and yeah so that goes to our last member who is Vic, Sa Vic Sage sorry aka the question who I always thought was just you know kind of a cool character to really have in detective themed comics but I guess they DC decide hey let's do something more interesting with them so basically, he seems like uh, somebody who must have done something really bad in the world. And you know, we probably don't even know what the real name of the New 52's version of the question, as he said, as um, one of the powerful figures here says, you will forget your name as will everyone. So for all we know, this could be a totally new character, or it could still be Vic Sage, but I doubt it, as he says, but if you do not kill me, I will rise to power again, and you will fear my name, as does the world. And he also says, I defy the authority you claim. Do what you wish to me. So that opens up a lot of ideas. And one idea I actually have, which is kind of far-fetched, but please stay with me here on this. I think this might be actually Satan, or the devil. And the reason I say that is because, you know, we don't know his real name at all. So, for all we know, his name could be Jimbo or Billy Bob. But, yeah, also, he says um, a little statement like this. I defy your, I defy the authority you claim. And defy and authority seems to be in bold letters. Which, seemingly, it seems to be a crucial part of his character. And... It's, I guess, a somewhat commonly known fact if you follow Judeo-Christian religion that, you know, Satan kind of defied God, defying his authority. So that's kind of the connection I got there. And also because if you look at the panel after he says that, when he's saying, and you will fear my name as does the world, I'm pretty sure that the world fears Satan. If, if you believe in the religion, at least of Judeo-Christian religion, you don't want to, you're scared of this guy, like, you know, he's the head honcho of evil, essentially, so that makes sense there, and then also, if you look at how he's talking, he has kind of pointy teeth, and, you know, he, for some reason, just the way his face looks, it reminds you of a demon, and I'm not saying that because he has the red hair look, because I have nothing against people that are, that have red hair, but I'm just saying, it really reminds you of it. And then also, I, it kind of reminded me of it as well, because 
if you look at the background of them, there's like a dragon breathing fire. It reminded me of hell. So, yeah, that's kind of where I'm getting the connection of it, basically. And yeah, so, right when the powerful figure says, you will forget your name, as will everyone, he starts saying, I am, and then his mouth gets shut, and then his eyes get shut, and from there he becomes a question. As the powerful figure, after that, says, you will forever question your identity, and forever search for answers you will never find. So, you know, pretty interesting things there. Um, as well in the issue, they seemingly showed the New 52's version of Jon Stewart, possibly, and then also Black Adam, I'm guessing. Uh, they showed a few more characters, but I'm actually thinking that this might be Earth 2, as they kind of tease that in the issue as well. And the reason I say that is because you have another Green Lantern, and... In the issue, he was kind of attacking Batman, which, if this is the how or not how Jordan said, if this is the John Stewart we all know and love, he wouldn't be attacking Bruce Wayne. He'd most likely be fighting alongside him. And then also, you have um, a bunch of heroes. You have what looks like Element Man, but a female version. So I guess you could say Element Girl. And then as well, you have Green Arrow, Superman. The Flash, Wonder Woman, Aquaman, what looks to be Queen Mira, getting hit upside the face into a, some sort of construct, and yeah, but there's a few other characters, I'm not really breaking down this at all, I just want to point that out, because I do actually think that this might be Earth 2, as there are some Justice Society members in here and if I remember correctly Earth 2 is known as kind of the Justice Society's thing I believe um yeah sorry I just said um I know I know you guys really don't like saying me when I say um I guess but yeah that's just, it just happens but that was kind of my thoughts on this whole new trinity of sin thing I believe that it will end up escalating into maybe well I don't think that the question and Phantom Stranger are gonna go back to whatever they used to be but I do believe that you know we'll learn who possibly the question was before he was the question and maybe Pandora will finally be I guess you could say forgiven for her sins I doubt Jesus is gonna appear in this but hopefully and I have my fingers crossed because I am a big Captain Marvel fan Hopefully, Captain Marvel will be a central figure in this series. Or, or Black Adam. Either one. Because I like both characters. I like Shazam personally more, though. But, or Captain Marvel. Well, I guess Shazam would be a politically correct term since that's his new name. But yeah, I hope that um, he's a more like focused character on this. Which would make sense with why they pair Shazam with Justice League. Because they just kind of blended in casually, not having to worry about really crossing anything over that much. So, I don't know, that was really just my thoughts. I think it's a neat idea that DC is doing. And, yeah, that's it for me. This is Hybrid, and please comment, like, subscribe. Hopefully you like this video. And 